Are you guys fighting over that ball? <laughs> All right. What's up, YouTube? Well, today I am planning on replacing these hockey puck Google 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 Wi-Fi. Um, I have a switch in here, but uh, so it's actually supposed to come in today. Um, watch out, guys. Supposed to come in today. And so I figured I'm going to run some speed tests on what I have right now. Now, I know my internet's not the fastest. I only get 100 megs uh, from AT&T. But uh, so let's run, let's take a speed test and see what I get right here in my master bedroom. And I do have another node in my living room. So we'll go over there. We'll make sure that it, does, it did switch over to that one because it's mesh. And uh, we'll run a speed test from there. And then what we'll do is once I get the other one hooked up and connected, we'll compare. And the reason why I'm doing this is because I am, oh Harley, because I keep getting dropouts. I think I have way too many uh, pieces of equipment connected. And uh, so I've been getting dropouts, um, like disconnects from different equipment, especially the 2.4 stuff. So anyways, let's run a speed test. All right, so I'm standing basically like a couple of feet away from the uh, my router in my bedroom, which is the first one. So let's take a speed test. Now this is on my S21 Ultra. And I, like I said, I do get 100 megs coming in so it's right around 60 which I guess I mean I guess ain't bad but I'm literally right here standing next to it so I'm supposed to be getting 100 up or 100 down 20 up so it's not terrible but like I said I'm just doing this to compare all right so I'm gonna go ahead and make sure I'm gonna go to the living room make sure I'm connected to that mesh uh, node and then we'll run another test all right, well, I'm in my living room connected to the second node and let's run a speed test. Now I'm basically sitting where I would normally sit. Let's see, well, it looks about the same, which I guess that's pretty good. Now, granted this, um, uh, this node in here, it is, I do run it through a plug link. Basically, that uses the electrical wires. So it's not, uh, it doesn't use wireless backhaul. It uses uh, uh, that plug link. So, all right, well, I mean, I guess it's about the same. I guess it's not terrible bad. So basically, this is just going to be a dry run of uh, the difference. Okay, so here is the hockey puck in my living room and that actually goes to here to this plug link this thing's actually been has worked really good i've had it for quite a few years no issues so that has two ports one port goes to that uh google wi-fi node and then another one goes to a switch i have down here and uh so let's go in the bedroom so i'll show you there all right so here in the bedroom this is the other node or the other plug link and that is connected um, to the first one and that's how the other one gets the signal so I'm going to connect the new one and then we'll test from there all right well uh, just to give an example of what I was talking about I was having trouble so I'm hoping this fixes it as you can see right here my cabinet lights like they're just for some reason they keep being disconnected I recommend connect them they disconnect this is just through the Alexa app but if I go into the Govi app it connects Bluetooth and then it works but for some reason it keeps getting disconnected through Wi-Fi so I'm hoping that uh, this new Asus XT8 I believe is the name of it is gonna fix that problem and I was getting some disconnects from some of my cameras as well um, and they would like disconnect and then they would, I would have to reconnect them. And so I'm hoping that that's going to fix it. But anyways, that was just an example of what I was talking about. 
All right, well, I've had these uh I've had these for a few days. These Asus uh XT8 and I replaced uh, my Google Wi-Fi like I had said before. Or actually, I guess it would be earlier in the video. I'm going to track all this stuff together, but so here it is up here installed. Um and I have one here and then let's go to my other one. So for Okay, so I have one right here, actually next to like my TV and my entertainment center and all that stuff right here. Uh, let me turn this down. But, um, so I have about a 2,000 square foot house, so it's not too big, but I was having trouble with dropouts and stuff with the uh, Google Wi-Fi's and some certain equipment not connecting, and because I believe I had just had too many, uh, too many different um, devices. So I ended up going with the, the double pack of the Asus XT8 and um, initially when I first hooked it up, um, I mean actually it was really bad. I was getting the same kind of dropouts, same time of, type of mess. Um, and uh, I was actually really annoyed because that kit cost me like 400 bucks. So I went online, of course, and you know, looking up, uh, looking at some forums and stuff. And well, a bunch of people said, you know, to upgrade and talk about these firmwares and all these different things. So I ended up updating the firmware, and that didn't really seem to fix anything. So then I went and I, uh, I well, actually, I just left it. I I got tired of messing with it. The next day, went to work, you know, whatever. Came back, did some more research, and they said, you know, do a factory reset and blah, blah, blah. And so I ended up going and doing a factory reset, and they called it the WPS button factory reset. So I did that, and I ended up, um, uh, re you know, basically when you, when you do that, it's like brand new. So I had to redo everything. Um, connected everything back up and everything started working much better I mean I was actually after I got everything hooked up I did I wasn't getting any dropouts I got everything to connect to uh, to the network and no issues and this has been basically about two days since I've had it everything working good um, and I haven't had any issues so far and well I, I kind of didn't have any issues the one issue I did have was whenever I do a speed test on my phone and it's a Wi-Fi 6, I have a you know Samsung uh, S21 Ultra and I have the Z Fold 3 and um, I was having issues like running the speed test. I was getting like slow speeds. I'm, I mean, I don't have a real fast connection. I have a 100 meg connection, but I was getting like 40, 50 megabits. I mean, it was slow. Um, and then I just noticed something right now, and this is why I started to make this video. Um, so basically I'm going to go to, let me pause this. I'm going to get, uh, do a screen record and I'm going to show you what's happening on when I do a speed test. Okay. So, uh, basically I'm here in the speed test app and this is pretty much what I usually use. And, um, uh, so this is the issue I've been having. So actually, let me turn my VPN off. So I'm turn my VPN off and let's run a speed test. And this is what has been happening the whole time. It would go up a little bit and it would drop around 50s, 40s, whatever. Um, so, I mean, as you can see, look at what's, look what's going on, right? So I'll run this a few times. I may even try to speed this up a little bit right here. So probably what I'll do is I'll run it, I'll run it a few times and then I'll speed it up because this is I don't want everybody to sit there and watch this. So this is the second time. So see as you can see, and it shows me down here ATT Internet and Deddy Path, Los Angeles, California. Well, I changed it to that Deddy Path because it was giving me a different server. Um, so I ended up changing it to that. And the reason I changed it is because when I go onto my, uh, VPN, 
if that's the server it was giving me. So I wanted to do, you know, to match it up. So as you can see, I mean, this is like, I don't even know what's going on. Even at the top, if you look at the very top up there, it says I'm on Wi-Fi 6. So let's run it one more time. I mean, it just does not, it just does not like, uh, I mean, look at that. Uh, what, what is going on? I don't get it. Four megabits per second. I mean, that's, you know, so it went 50 and so it's like, it's all over the place, right? I mean, look at this. What is this? This makes no sense. All right, so we'll let this finish. Now I'm gonna turn on my VPN and then we're gonna see what happens, right? So I'm not gonna change, I'm just gonna turn my VPN on. Let's give it a second. All right, so I haven't done anything. I just turned my VPN on, on my phone. So let's see what happens now. Now look at that. Now granted, I get a, I pay for a hundred megs. And so, I mean, 90, you know, that's what you expect. Wireless, you know, keep getting notification from one of my cameras. Um, But see, that's with the VPN on and you kind of think it would be the opposite, right? So see, it's the Deddy Path, Los Angeles down there. Of course, it doesn't know who I am because I'm on my VPN. But once again, 90. You know, and this is with me running a YouTube video. So actually, let me stop that. So I just stopped the YouTube video. So let's see if it changes anything when I run it one more time. So I ran it three times before without the VPN. And this will be the third time running it with the VPN. And as you can see, I mean, you know, in the 90s, pretty much every time I turned the YouTube video off. So now it's, you know, 97, right? So, and I pay, and it's supposed to be 20 up. So I'm getting close to that. So I, I have no idea why it's doing that. Um, like, I have no idea. I, I can connect to my cameras, everything, like, you, you know, turn on my smart lights, everything works fine. Uh, I even did some gaming last night, had no no issues. Uh, so everything seems like it's working perfectly fine, but when I run a speed test without my VPN, it's ridiculously slow. I don't understand, you know, what's going on or why it's doing that. Um, when I turn my VPN on, I basically get the speed that I'm supposed to. So I don't know if the speed test uh, app doesn't like AT&T or something. I, I don't really know. Anyways, um, so this has been my experience. I'm running one more time, but let me just finish up this video real quick. I changed from the, the original Google Wi-Fi where I was having dropouts and stuff. And so I put, you know, using these Asus X-T8, the uh, routers or the mesh kit, seems to be working good i had some initial um issues and so i updated the firmware and then that still didn't really solve my issues and then i did ended up doing a wps factory reset and you could just look that up like you can literally google asus wps factory reset and it'll tell you what to do um, but i ended up doing that ended up resetting the whole network and and doing all that kind of business um so, you know, I, I mean, everything's working good now. You've so I'm going to probably give another update if something changes or if I end up having um, a change of mind or returning these or whatever. Um, so, see, I just had a kind of like a, a, a weird fluctuation right here. Let me run it again. I'm just running it while I'm talking. Um, but so far, I mean, everything seems to be working good as far as, you know, my normal network. And look, let's see, what, what is this? What's going on? And this is with the VPN on now. Well, it's still going a little faster. So, yeah, it's kind of catching back up. So I know you can't take, you know, you kind of got to take this speed test stuff with a grain of salt. I mean, 
who knows how many people but consistently 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 i was getting slow speeds off the vpn and much faster speeds on the vpn and then like i said if somebody watches i hope somebody watches this video that can comment about that maybe they know what's going on um i don't know but as far as asus so far everything seems to be working good i'm not having dropouts all my devices are connected and seem to be working good like i said before i kind of uh started rambling um if something happens i will make another video update video but if you want to uh increase your network and this may be an option you might want to you know pay attention read the forums to to see because there's a lot of stuff you can do in there parental controls all those different things that a lot of the other mesh units they don't really offer like you have to pay pay for services and stuff um which i'm not into that i'm like hey let me pay one time and then i get all that stuff right so um that's kind of the reason why i picked this but anyways i'm rambling signing off and uh if something happens i will make another video or i'll probably make another update video here in a couple weeks or something anyways anyway signing off peace Okay, well, I did want to show real quick that um, after installing those ASUS routers, even though I had the issues I did, and I have the stuff going on with the speed test, um, as you can see on here, like, don't mind this twinkly stuff. That's because obviously the Christmas lights aren't hooked up, but everything here is connected, including my cabinet lights. And those are those Govi cabinet lights that I made a video on that I connected, and they connected right up. So, I, I mean, that was one of my main things. I was kind of annoyed because I had that set to, as a routine, to turn on like at night uh, as kind of like a nightlight. And it was working good for a minute, but I don't know. Then for some reason, them Google uh, Wi-Fi pucks, they just stopped connecting. They wouldn't connect to it. But so the, everything's connected right now. I just want to throw this in at the end of this video. Hopefully um, I can figure out what's going on with the speed test or maybe it doesn't even matter. Maybe it's just the app or I don't know. Like I said, if anybody has any insight on that, um, maybe they know what's going on. Uh, you know, throw something down in the comments. Maybe help myself or you know, maybe even somebody else out. But anyway, as far as all my devices, all my cameras, all that kind of stuff, everything is, uh, is connected and working. I mean, it actually works way better than it did before. I click on one of my cameras and it comes up super fast. And I mainly run the ring cameras and I have a couple of wise cameras. So anyways, just want to throw that in there real quick at the end of this video. Uh, signing off. Peace.